Yo, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> All my people that follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, whatever the case may be, YouTube. Uh, guys, on my Instagram, if you don't got me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram right now. Um, I want to give you guys as much value as I can. If you have any questions, comment it below. Uh, send me an email at marcellus.scott1996 at gmail.com. Without further ado, I want to get into this and I'm going to give some massive value. So, on Instagram, I've been doing, I've been seeing people's Instagram. I'm like, man, why can't I? I could do that. Look at her. She's getting all these questions about where she eat at, if she's single, and if she need a boo boo, and hoo hoo, and all that stuff. So, why can't I go ahead and do the same thing? So, on my Instagram, I was like, I put the little ask me a question, ask me a question so I can post on my YouTube because I, I don't want my content to just be some random bull crap. I want it to actually be a qualified question for somebody that I can answer and give them some value and change their life, right? So this is specifically for my boy Snarky FX. So anyways, the question he asked me, look, it says look, Snarky FX responded to our question sticker. Anyways, I may just edit and put the, the picture up or something. But anyways, what was one of the things you decided to give up to receive abundance? <laughs> <laughs> man i love this i love this so much guys uh sorry about my laugh i i, I think i don't know about you guys but i got like two or three different laughs like i could be like <laughs> oh then i could be like real high pitch so if you hear me go real high pitch and laugh like that i really like thought it was funny or like it was something that was just it excited me it wasn't like it's hard to explain but we'll talk about that on another type of video or anything but anyways the question was what was one of the things you decided to give up to receive abundance man i decided to give up my scarcity mindset always like scarcity and selfish so it's two things really so i had to add it as like one it comes as one big package because if you've got the scarcity mindset and the selfish mindset you're never going to get abundance so anyways we're going to start with scarcity so i had to stop thinking that i can never ever get another piece of pop tart again or I had to stop feeling like, oh, I can never get another jacket again. Because when you're like, whenever you're eating or something, and say you're one of your family members is like, hey, uh, bro, hey, can I get a piece of that? And you're just like, no, this is mine. You're thinking of yourself. You're not thinking of giving. Because guess what? It wouldn't hurt you to give that person that little bite of that little Debbie snack cake that you don't need anyways. Give them a piece of it. It eliminates some of the calories that you're eating. You know what I'm saying? We eat too much. You eat too many calories, dude. You're going to get a whole bunch of weight. Why not give a little bit away? It's just a snack. It's a treat. You don't have to, you know, or you have some shareable Skittles. You don't eat the whole thing. It says share size. Share with others, okay? But anyways, I had to give up that scarcity mindset like I couldn't get more food because people with Skittles, is they pumping out Skittles like it ain't nothing left and right. Foo, 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 foo in a factory, right? So there is always going to be more Skittles until Skittles shuts down. And the Skittles shut down, go to Starburst. And if the Starburst go down, freak it. I'll just go to fruit. Might as well go to the source. But anyways, I had to give that up. Now, the second thing to this package right here is I had to give up my selfishness. So that being said, I have to. I had to stop thinking about me being rich. Oh, I got money. Oh, I got cars. I got clothes. No, 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 no. I'm reading a book. What would the Rockefellers do? I, re I highly recommend this. Hell, I may just put like an Amazon link below for you to get it. You know what I'm saying? Discount, whatever. I don't even care if you don't do that. I recommend the book. Just go get the book, okay? This could change your life. But anyways, back to what I was saying. I had to start thinking of how can I get rich for my family for when I die? My great-grandkids and, and their kids are well off where they got enough money and income, right? Because when you die, that stuff matters. Why do people get life insurance? For real. Why, why do you get life insurance? Because the life insurance agent persuaded you on how this could benefit you and your family for, for after when you pass away. I'm thinking stuff like that. And I'm thinking deeper than just that. I'm thinking about humanity and society on how can I change the whole entire world and leave a stamp and a dent on the universe like Steve Jobs did, right? So I've been reading this book. It talks about Rockefeller talks about Cornelius Vanderbilt, shout out to Vanderbilt University in Nashville. Some of the richest guys ever. John D. Rockefeller was worth $300 billion in today's money. So it's, I don't know the numbers on that from back then. But anyways, this book right here also talks about how you can create generational wealth for your family, how you can own banks, all this stuff. So I had to get rid of all of that. I had this, my mom's calling me right now. I'm going to talk to her later. I had to start thinking about how you know, how can I help my family? How can I, how can I help the world? And you can't be selfish thinking about that. 
you got to be thinking about how you can give, 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 give. Everybody wants to take, 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 take. But me, I want to give, 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 give. <laughs> call me, call me Santa Claus. I give, give me, give me a list. I'll check it twice, and I'll make sure that it's good, even if you are naughty or nice. You feel me? Because I'm just that servant person. That's just how I was raised. One thing that really made me the way I am right now, and I'll just be real with you. You know, rest in peace to my dad. Passed away last year. I remember as a kid, you know, kids love ice cream trucks. Ice cream truck come, you hear it. Uh, Dad, gum, golly, my own. She she going to chill, but anyways, back to what I was saying. You know how like when you have an ice cream truck, right? Whew, and it comes down, it comes down the road. It's playing the music, doo, 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 whatever, whatever it is. My ice cream truck. He came through wanging that music. All the kids running. Oh my god, ice cream! They're already going to the house of their parents. Oh my god, I'm, can I get a dollar? I want to get some ice cream. Oh yeah, hey, I got some ice cream. And guess what? Most of them would do. They go get that ice cream and they go rub it in all the other kids' face. Guess what my dad did? He made sure when he came out there with us, and then the kids that were around, he paid for theirs. Or if their parents can pay for theirs, he would pay for theirs. And then so we all could have ice cream. So me and my brothers, and my sisters wasn't around talking to other kids talking about, oh, look, I got ice cream. You ain't got no ice cream. That's what you get. And that's how that's how the that's how my mindset shifted, because like he was a servant leader, so that like that molded me into who I am, right? And in, in my own way. Cause that's what I seen. I seen that you had to give to people. I seen that you had to give to people. Now, that being said, that's how I got my my abundance mindset, knowing that I'm not going to get a massive a lot if I don't have a bigger mindset. You I, you know, you can't, how can how in the world can you expect to get paid a bunch of money or have abundance in your life and numbers, health, uh, you where you can travel, whatever. It doesn't have to be just business if you think too small, if you don't, if you think about just yourself. So think bigger. Read the book, The Magic of Thinking Big, and think about how you can impact others in a big, massive way. Bro, this should help you, uh, Snarky FX. My man, hopefully, you, you this. if this video helps you, my man, share this video, give it to somebody, or just anybody who ever watched this, share this video. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep posting content like this and just get in depth, almost like I'm just, like, doing one-on-ones with people and their questions. So, have a good one. Peace. Oh, oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Don't leave yet. I'm going to start doing giveaways, too, for people. It just depends. It may be like caption giveaways where like if somebody makes it, who has the funniest caption, I give them 50 bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Or whoever has uh, the best video to, or best response to my video or just has like a question, I may just be like, oh, send me a question and then you just may be a lucky winner and I'll just give you a giveaway. I'll just put your name in a hat. But anyways, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.